Okay, so... Underworld episode 3. Tricky, because this is potentially the worst episode of the worst story in Doctor Who's history. But proof, if it was needed, that any episode of Doctor Who is worth watching. For example, Tom Baker and Louise Jameson are extremely charismatic in this. Uh, even if they aren't given anything particularly memorable to say, um, they're both worth watching. They're, they're, they're both giving it their all. Um, I really liked the scale of this production, given the ridiculous pressures of how this story was made. There's a, there's a scale to um, some of the CSO shots. Uh, Tom Baker and Louise Jameson are planted in against a massive door and the tunnels look huge. Like, it feels kind of epic. Um, yeah, and, you know, those effects really aren't that bad. Like, there's a plenty worse CSO in Doctor Who. Um, there were even shots of a like, canine going across um, caves, which is some of the best shots of canine I've ever seen. Um, I really like the 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 weapons that they use, the, the the shields that have lasers coming out of them, convincing lasers in Doctor Who, for one of the first and only times. Um, I also like as well how this goes back to Doctor Who's um, original remit of educating people. There's um, this would encourage the audience to uh, look into grief. Uh, grief, Greek myths and legends uh, after watching this because obviously the, that's what a lot of this is based on. Um, oh, the sound effects in the cave. Again, sound effects. I've mentioned it so many times, but um, the atmosphere that's generated via the sound effects people makes such a difference in these productions, especially in this one where um, the production itself is lacking a little. Um, it needs as much help as it can generating atmosphere. Um, the gimp masks of the guards, those are the gimpest of gimp masks I've ever seen. Um, I think they even have whips as well. I don't know what the designer was on, but uh, there's some kinky stuff going on here. Um, the cliffhanger was extremely abrupt, but I kind of like the cute idea of the Doctor and Leela um, in the car, uh, being tipped away with the rest of the rocks. Look, this isn't brilliant. It, it's not a brilliant episode. It's not a brilliant story. Um, however, I do wonder if watching Underworld like this, like selecting a single episode rather than watching the whole thing, might be the best way to do it, like an episode at a time. Um, because this certainly wasn't as painful as I remember Underworld being when I watched it all the way through. Um, so to just have like a segment of it, I could see the positives there. Um, yeah, of which I have mentioned a few here. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to convince anyone that Underworld is a lost classic, but there are things to enjoy, particularly Tom Baker and Louise Jameson, who are just always brilliant.